We're going to get started with the speaking and the program uh, so that we can move ahead and respect your time. But there's plenty of good food there. Help yourself. Um, I'd like to start, if I could, uh, uh, by asking um, people to raise their hands. Uh, we are honored to have uh, President Emerita Eileen Farley with us. Eileen, there she is. And in addition to uh, President Farley, could I ask everybody who is, re uh, is now retired, not retiring, but is now retired, to raise your hands so we can, uh, yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for all you've done for BCC and continue to do. Uh, I want to thank also the employees and students in our culinary arts program and uh, other areas of the college that came together. As I mentioned, this is quite a complex event and it takes quite a bit of planning. Now I'd like to uh, begin by announcing the Service Recognition Awards. You may notice that there are many more attending this year, and this is due, and many more being recognized, and this is due, uh, due to the great work done by our Recognition Task Force. In an effort to make our Years of Service Recognition Program more inclusive, we pulled together the Recognition Task Force, and it was charged with coming back with recommendations on revamping our current system, the old system, for recognizing employees' years of service. In November, uh, last November 2016, a survey was sent to all employees, and based on that feedback, the task force made certain changes and recommend, uh, certain recommendations. First, all employees, full-time and part-time, with years of service milestones in the five-year increments, 5, 10, 15, etc., will be recognized at the recognition breakfast held in May. All employees, full-time and part-time. Who's clapping? There we go. <laughs> Eli, I want to hear from you. <laughs> The service milestones will be recognized with pins uh, for the years of service uh, for employees with five and 20 years of services in that range. Pins can be picked up in the lobby at the end. As you're going to see, we have, uh, you probably already have seen, we have a, quite a list of five and 10, 15 and 20 year milestones. For, uh, also, uh, you should understand too that a donation in the employee's name, each employee being recognized, a donation was being made to the student employment program uh, in the amount of the employee's years of service. Additional donations can be made in the employee's honor, if you so choose. But to put it into the student employment program, uh, which is woefully underfunded, uh, and uh, it's wonderful to get work, uh, not work study, but employment uh, for our students. So please know that uh, in addition to the pin, a donation is made for each of these award winners. Also, um, Regardless if an employee has worked full-time, part-time, or a combination, the service years will be calculated based on all years worked at the college as of June 30th of the uh, current year. Thus, if you reach the milestone year this year, as of June 30th, you will be included in the ceremony. As always, with a new system, an unintentional mistake could be made. Uh, therefore, please, if you feel you have not been recognized today, uh, and you deserve to be recognized in these milestones, please contact the Office of Human uh, Resources. This is the first time is, uh, that we've tried this system. Uh, you can tell the uh, complexity of the operation. We don't think there are any mistakes. We're normally perfect, absolutely perfect in everything we do. But uh, should someone uh, uh, feel uh, questions, uh, if you have questions about your status or uh, anything to do with this program, please contact uh, Human Resources, okay? Not this minute, but later. Once the list was compiled for 2017, it was realized that many employees would miss a milestone due to the new way of calculating the years, which is to add full and part-time uh, years together. 
So for 2017, an effort was made to include milestones for those employees. That's why we have the packed room. We know that this process is not perfect and we'll continue to refine it as we go forward. Thank you for your patience, your understanding. Enjoy the food and let's get on to the celebration. What do you say? <clears throat> To begin with, I would like, uh, we have to do it a little different than we've done in the past because of the numbers. Uh, would all employees celebrating five years of service please stand up? There should be 97 of you. 97. <laughs> and please, uh, please come forward uh, to my right uh, to the BCC backdrop for a photo. 97 individual photos? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> come forward, please come forward, five-year people. Let's hear it for the five-year people, five years of service. Five years of service. Full and part-time. So we're going to have a, a, try to get a group picture, 97 people. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Short people up front. <laughs> how, soon, uh, how soon will we do the 10? I also want to remind the five-year people that your pin, you can pick up your pins in the lobby after, uh, after the breakfast, right? Yes. Yeah. When the breakfast is completed, uh, your pins will be in the lobby for you. Okay. Five-year people. You know what? I think it's time for the ten-year. Well, they're doing two groups, I guess. That's okay. Yeah. There's enough room if you want to start reading. Aren't the, aren't the names supposed to be... We're going to uh, uh, continue to scroll the names so you can see the people that have been, rec uh, will be, and are being recognized uh, here. So that's the last group of the 97. Anybody count them to see if we had all 97? No. Yeah. While, uh, while we're finishing up the photos of the five-year people, <clears throat> I would like to ask if we would, the people in the 10 years of service, if you would stand first to be recognized, 10 years of service to Bristol Community College. Ten years, thank you. And also, would you come forward now? I think all the five-year people have got their pictures. Thank you, Kevin. Will the ten-year people please come forward? 
Let's hear it once more for the 10 year people. I want them to get lost in the shuffle here. Okay, we're losing control. <laughs> Congratulations, Eagle. Remember you five-year people, uh, uh, you may not have heard me while you were taking your picture, the pins are available in the lobby after the breakfast for your five years of service. The 10-year people, the same thing, your pins will be available in the lobby after this breakfast. This on? Can anybody hear me? Love the energy. <laughs> yeah, they're great. of service. Congratulations. Don't forget your pins are available in the lobby after the breakfast. Okay? Ten years of service. Now, can we ask the people 15 years of service if you would stand. 15 years of service. Bristol Community College. service is standing. Please come forward for your photo. 15 years of service. Full and part-time service to BCC. Your commitment is greatly appreciated.
right. And next, if we could, ask people 20 years, 20 years of service, if you would stand, please. 20 years of service. Please stand, continue to stand in place till we get the 15. 15 years of service, leaving the podium. Please recognize there are 15 years of service. Will the 20 year people now come forward for your photo? I think the 97 in five years were less trouble than the 15 year people. 15 years, remember people, your, lo your pins will be available in the lobby. 20 years are coming forward. Twenty-year people are making it toward the podium. While the 20 year people are being completed, uh, let's ask these people with 20, we're gonna do a little differently now at the 25 year level. People with 25 years, please stand. 25 years, please stand. And while you're standing, let's acknowledge the 20 year people that have had their picture taken. 20 years at BCC. The 25 year people is going to do it a little differently. Would you come forward and stand in the area in front of the uh, platform here, the stage? 25 year people. Yeah, right in here. Yeah. Just stand in the area in front of the stage, right in, right there. Don't go any further, Alan. <laughs> okay, we're all here, right there. Farther, I meant, not further. Janelle Arruda, I saw her. Janelle Arruda, second, I think I saw her. Yeah, Janelle Arruda is here. 20. Yeah, Sandy is here. Carmen Batello is here. I saw her somewhere. 25 years. I saw her, but she's not a friend. Where did I? I saw her earlier. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're doing a little differently now at the 25 year and above level. Uh, their names will be placed on the sculptures in the recognition garden. Everybody know where the rec recognition garden is? Outside the art gallery, right? 
Kathleen Hancock can direct you any day you're there, uh, right outside the gallery. The recognition um, embodies the stages of garden life, believe it or not. Each sculptor has a planter base with name plaques. The sculptors are a sprout symbolizing the employee recognition program, a blossom and a flower at 25 years. Fruit and seed to the 30, 35 years, and 40 years. Tell them not to leave. Please don't leave uh, the, the uh, 25 people. Would you come forward? We're going to uh, do this a little differently. I'm going to recognize each individual uh, awardee in the recognition. I hope you're standing in alphabetical order, are you? No. No, okay. <laughs> Juliet Amaral. Juliet Amaral, come on forward. Come on up. Okay, so what do I give her? Did she, and then where does no, she go? Shake the hand. Then where does she go? Shake the hand, she'll get yeah. she stay up here? You shake the hand. No, no, she's going yeah. up. Congratulations, Thank you. Thank you Julia. So 25 years. Yes, yeah. God bless. It's been fun. Oh, yeah. I Thank hope some more will be as the club. That's right. Janelle Aruda, Janelle Aruda. 25 years, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sandy Bartolo, Sandy. You're not standing in alphabetical order. <laughs> Carmen Batello. Carmen Batello. Ladies and gentlemen, remember now, these are each one of these are at least 25 years of service at BCC. Carmen? Helena Brewer. There she is. Congratulations. Deborah Charette. Deborah. Michael Coughlin. Michael? Mike? No. Bernadette Driscoll. Bernie Driscoll. I know you're anxious to have conversations at your table, but please remember we want to recognize the great service that these, all these individuals have provided. <laughs> Kevin Garganta, Kevin Garganta, 25 years of service. Congratulations. Wayne Golan, Wayne, make your way to the front. Jay Thomas Grady. <laughs> Thank you very much. Eileen Harrington. Eileen Harrington. Jane Horowitz. Jane.
Richard Ironfield. Richard. Beatrice Lanzi, Beatrice Lanzi, Diane Manson, Diane Manson, Paula Morado, 25 years. Mia Rowland, Mia Rowland. Sandra Soares, Sandra Soares, Victor Tavares, <laughs> Bon dia. <laughs> Congratulations, Victor. Alan Ventatulo, Alan. Alan Ventatulo. Carlene Wampler, Carlene, Carlene Wampler, 25 years of service. Janice Warren. Janice Warren. Congratulations, Janice. Patricia Weisberger. 25 years, Patricia Weisberger. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll get a group photo, 25 years of service to Bristol Community College. <laughs> Joyce, wait for Pat. <laughs> One more. 25 years of service, that amazing. Full and part-time. <laughs> Commitment to the college and to our students. Now, do they go Now, while they're completing the picture for the 25 years of service, I would like to ask uh, first to stand the 30 years of service. 30 years of service. Please stand to be recognized. 30 years of service. And now, please come forward to the front of the stage. 30 years of service. And let's one more hand for the 25 years of service people as they make their way back. Yeah. 30 years of service. Please come forward. Thirty years. <laughs> we have our HR office checking IDs. Be sure they're right. They're perfect, right? This is a preliminary photo of the 30 years, and we'll then do the uh, regular podium uh, stanchion photo. Okay, I'm going to ask the individual 30-year people to come forward when your name is called. Deborah Andre, Deborah is not here. Rylan Brenner, Rylan Brennan. 
Karen here, you know. Karen Costa in Division Three. How about let's hear it for her. Sean Elliott. Sean Elliott. Thirty years, maybe more in theater years. What? Would you go over there? Uh, no. no, we're all the way over, uh, right, Bren. That's okay, that's okay. That's him. Always throw a box to his own phone. Yeah, he's on the phone. Oh. It was on here, right? Uh, yeah. Brian Franco. Brian, come on up. 30 years. Thank you. Thank you. Terry Gaspard. Terry, he's not here. Terry Gaspard, ladies and gentlemen. Joseph McMahon. Joseph McMahon, not here yet. George Moniz. George Moniz is not here. Ernie Nicholson, he's here. Ernie Nicholson, 30 years of service. Suzanne Parent, she's here. Suzanne Parent, 30 years. Richard Petronio. Richard Petronio, 30 years. Congratulations, Richard. Selma's not here. Selma Reconsenti. Wendy Smith. Wendy's not here, but Suzanne is here. Suzanne, say no more. Each of the 20, each of the 30 year people received the pin and uh, we're going to take a group uh, photo of their 30 years. Remember, they also will be, uh, there'll be a plaque inscribed in their names over by uh, the art gallery, the recognition garden, we call it, okay? And while they're taking that, how about a recognition, 30 years of service for Bristol Community College. And while they're trying to organize that picture, let's ask the people at 35 years of service if you would stand. 35 years. And come forward to the front of the stage. Right there. 35 years. Five years of service. They get a pin and uh, in the garden. Right? Each will receive a pin, and uh, their name will be in the plaque in the recognition garden by the art gallery. Stephen Cabral. Stephen Cabral. Oh wait a minute. You're gonna take a. You taking a picture? Okay. Steve, come forward. Stephen Cabral. 35 years. Joanne Carol Connor. Joanne Carol Connor. Congratulations. George Crook. George Crook.
George, come on up. 35 years. Congratulations, George. Denise Donatelli. Denise, there she is. 35 years. Joyce. Oh, uh, Robert Curl. Robert Curl. Congratulations, Joyce Fernandez. Joyce Fernandez, thirty five years. Joyce, congratulations. Thank you. Karen Giglio. Karen Giglio, 35 years. Thank you. Congratulations, dear lady. Chris, Chris Hoy. Steve Ozog is on this list, 35 years. Oh, I'm on this Oh, there you are. Congratulations, Steve. <laughs> Eileen Shea, 35 years. Eileen Shea. Five years. Diana, congratulations. Good for you. How are you? So, ladies and gentlemen, 35 years of service for Bristol Community College. Thank you all. <laughs> For the next group, they're going to come up on stage and line up. Stay here. The 97 people at five years were less trouble than the 35-year uh, people getting this picture. <laughs> and while they're doing that, let's move on. The next level, 40 years, 40 years at BCC. Would you please stand first to be recognized? 40 years. And then come uh, come on to the stage, right? Yes. Then please come on up on the stage right now. Thank you. 40 years of service. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for them. 40 years they've been at this school. <laughs> Please come right up on the stage, Dave. Yeah. Paulette, all right up on the stage. Bob. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 40 years of service. Let's re recognize them individually. We'll recognize them individually. Robert Karen, Robert Bob. Congratulations, Bob. Yeah. Paulette Howard. Congratulations, Paulette. Good job. Tom McCarty. Tom. Congratulations, my friend. John Ventura is not here, but recognize him for his 40 years. And also Dave Williams. David Williams. Congratulations. 
So we're going to have a photo of the 40 years, 40 years, right? Yes. And while we're taking the 40-year photo, I'd like to ask Jay Hobson to come forward onto the stage. Is he here? I don't know. I haven't seen him. Uh, the reason I add, I'm not sure if he's here, 45 years of service for uh, BCC, Jay Hobson. Okay. And we have three employees celebrating 50 years of service at BCC. 50 years. Amazing. Would you come on to the stage, please? James Pelletier, come on up. Al Roy, Vance Westgate. Three people, 50 years of service to the college. An amazing milestone. <laughs> oh, what a group, 50 years of service, isn't that fabulous? Well, let's start with Dr. James Pelletier. Dr. Al Roy. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Don't tell the uh, president that I'm talking to the tech guy. <laughs> I won't say that. Congratulations, Al. And Vance Westgate. Vance Westgate. I'm waiting for a picture for you over here. There they are, all together, 50 years of service. Jim, Al, and Vance. <coughs> They're ready for another 50 years at the college, right? <laughs> and while they're taking that picture, <clears throat> I want to congratulate all the employees that we've recognized for reaching these milestones. Can we hear a round of applause for all of our milestone employees? Five years to 50 years. That's quite an array. And we're right on time. We're now going to recognize our retirees. <clears throat> I would like to note that we are uh, recognizing, and there's a little issue with retirees, we're only recognizing those who have officially completed their paperwork. Uh, there are, there are rumors of others who are going to retire, but not uh, paperwork is not in. And of course, even if you've completed your paperwork, you can withdraw it uh, right up to what midnight of that day. So, um, so we're not, you know, we're not sure about this list. Um, I'd like to all, uh, mention not everybody has uh, uh, chosen to submit a video. Uh, and uh, that's, you know, we, uh, we, offer, we made that offer to each of the retirees. Many are clearly camera shy. 
In alphabetical order, our first retiree, Tafa Awalaju. Tafa. Tafa served as the college's chief human resource officer from July 90, 1994 to February 2017. He's not able to join us today. He's in Paris. Uh, we are grateful for his many years of service to BCC. Tafa Awalaju, ladies and gentlemen. Patricia Dent. Patricia, would you please join me on the stage? Patricia's here somewhere. Come on up. You've got to sing a song and dance for us. to BCC, a Dean of Health Services Sciences in 2008, after 15 years in the Health Science Department at Mass Bay. And she has her BS and MS in Physical Therapy from Boston University. Pat will be retiring at the end of June, and we do have a video uh, for uh, Dean Den. Can we show that video now? I had wonderful memories beginning with the call that I received from the president when I started um, and then also the welcome I received both from the division and the college when I arrived which was really quite wonderful. I wanted to be a part of a team that would build a learning environment for health students that would have the resources to prepare them for current clinical practice and for practice in the future. So when I arrived here, there was no e-health, there was no new building being talked about, but I had an amazing faculty and team that really wanted to meet the needs of this region. In that, what I most have enjoyed doing has been working with these colleagues to look at what the needs are in this area to vision what we could put up, what we could do, and then to work to find the resources. So I'm very proud of the programs that we have here. I believe that the patient care that is received by a Bristol Community College graduate is the best because I really believe in my heart of hearts that they're being taught by the best of the best. What I will miss most about BCC is the BCC family. I have witnessed this family help and care for many and I experienced it personally in ways I would not have imagined when I arrived at this college. You all know my story and the recent health challenges that I faced. You hear people say they're going to walk the walk with you, but the BCC family walked the walk with me. And I truly want to tell them how grateful I am from the bottom of my heart. I will miss all of you. I will miss these events, but I'm coming back for a lot. And I will also enjoy walking around this campus and this pond with the people I care about. Dean Patricia Dent, ladies and gentlemen. You want to say something? mean what I said that BCC walked the walk with me. Uh, it was a challenging time in my life and not a day or two would go by before a card would come from someone from BC, a phone call would come from someone from BC, people from BC drove me into Boston as needed. That is just something that I can just never thank you enough for. 
And mostly, it has been such a joy and privilege to work with all of you that care so deeply about our students and what opportunities we can help them aspire to and achieve to improve their life and the life of the people in this region. I truly, truly am grateful. Thank you. Patricia Dent, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Our next retiree, Eileen Shea. Eileen Shea, would you join me on the stage, please? <clears throat> Eileen started at BCC in 1978 as a part-time employee, became full-time in 1981. Spending 35 years at BCC, she attended Southeastern Massachusetts Uni University, Bridgewater State, and UMass Amherst. Eileen will retire at the end of August from her position as Coordinator of Transfer Affairs. Eileen Shea, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say thank you, and it's been an honor and a privilege to work with all of you, and I will miss all of you. Thank you. Uh, Jane Kitchen is retiring. I understand she's not here today, so let's recognize the wonderful work of Jane Kitchen. Jane came to BCC in 1988, spent 29 years in information technology, and she retired in April as an EDP Systems Analyst 3. Jane was a graduate of BCC and earned her Bachelor of Science from the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. Jane, we all know uh, how much each of us uh, do rely on Jane to write those programs and get and help us with our uh, uh, with our technical skills. Uh, so Jane, we're going to miss you. And Jane Kitchen, ladies and gentlemen, we can acknowledge her wonderful service. Kiarty Chai, Pai Yang Si, Song. Yeah. <laughs> Song is in California and sends his best wishes. Uh, he worked uh, three months part-time at BCC and then hired full-time in 1988. He's known for his recycling efforts, such as reusing scrap paper to make message pads. Song was awarded the Manuel Carbello Governor's Award for Excellence in Public Service in 1990 and was a recipient of the Performance Recognition Program in 1993 and Employee of the Month in uh, 2002. Song retired from his position and offset duplicating in March of this year and has moved with his wife to California, his wife Sue, to be closer to their sons and grandchildren. We are grateful for his many years of service uh, to BCC. Let's hear it for song. i say it again. Ki Arti Chai, Pai Yang Si. And now I would like to ask our chair of the Board of Trustees, Joe Marshall, if you would come forward. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Does he have something to read? Oh, yeah, yeah. You want to share what you were talking about? No, yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to do yeah. that. I'll be happy to do that. Thank you. Uh, President Sprague, how many years have I been here? Many years? Yeah. Okay, many years. Too many. Too many years. <laughs> uh, we have uh, someone else retiring today, uh, as if you didn't know. Although I know we're going to celebrate Jack's retirement together next week, I thought it'd be appropriate to say a few words today. As if you didn't know, President John J. Jack Sprager came to Bristol Community College in the year 2000. In fact, uh, uh, President Farley and I were reminiscing about that uh, earlier today. Uh, he came here from Anne Arundel uh, Community College in Arnold, Mar Maryland. Jack received his AB in History and Political Science from Union College and a PhD 
and MA in History with distinction from Georgetown University. He received a Fulbright Scholarship at the London School of Economics and Political Science in 1972. The following, and there's a long list, I think there's eight pages here. The following are just a few of the accolades that Jack has been awarded. And when he said this to me, whenever he receives an award, it really is for the, for the entire college. He said this over and over and over again. But some of the awards, a Drum Major Champion for Diversity Award from UMass Dartmouth in 2006, President of the Year, from the National Association of Student Personnel Administrators in 2008, Pace Setter of the Year from the National Council for Marketing and Public Relations in 2009, the prestigious Roger Valcourt Award for as Distinguished Citizen of the Year for the Fall River Chamber of Commerce in 2010, and Veteran of the Year by the Veterans Transition House in 2011. He is the recipient of the Distinguished Flying Cross and 18 other Air Medals during his career as an Air Force Captain serving in Vietnam. Jack will retire from Bristol Community College as the state's second longest serving community college president in August. Jack. <laughs> Thank or you. You, you have anything you. to say? No. <laughs> Thank you, Chair Marshall. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> it's quite an honor to have served here at BCC. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, it's been a wonderful ride. 17 years have flown by, and uh, uh, it's been great uh, joining you as colleagues in learning as we serve students, which is why we're in the business, right? And uh, so I thank you very much. You've seen all the wonderful people that reached milestones and the many more people that are approaching or just passed other milestones, and all together our BCC family uh, continues to thrive and serve what we do best, serving students. So I thank Thank you, and I thank you very much for this honor. <laughs> and now, uh, more honors. We're going to recognize our Professor Emeriti. Uh, and uh, for this year, I'd like to ask uh, Dave Owen and Penny Hahn to please come forward uh, for the first award. David Owen and Penny Hahn. I guess your speech is going to be hard. You've got to get a close David, congratulations. Good morning. I'm very happy to read the citation for Dave Owen, who's been named Professor Emeritus. And I just want to say his friends and colleagues in the science department and in Division 5 can attest to what a perfect choice this is for Professor Emeritus. And we're really happy that he and his wife, Rita, made the trip from North Carolina to be with us this morning. Uh, here's the citation. David Owen, Professor Emeritus of Astronomy and Biology. From the classroom to the night sky, you have created a sense of wonder and awe for your students. Since beginning your service at Bristol Community College as a laboratory technician for chemistry, you established yourself as a role model and beloved instructor, making challenging science subjects accessible to students of all learning capabilities. Your character, wisdom, and stellar sense of humor helped to make you a sought-after expert at the college. Your kindness and resolute commitment to, the, to your profession earned you the high esteem of your colleagues. Throughout your career, you have captivated and expanded student minds. You've encouraged learners to not only observe the tenets of their own world, but also boldly ponder beyond the stars. David Owen, ladies and gentlemen, Professor Emeritus. Well, thank you very much. This is an unbelievable honor and a privilege. 
I never imagined that this would ever happen. It never even entered my mind, but I'm grateful and I accept this. And as we say in North Carolina, I want to thank you all for this here award. <laughs> Professor Emeritus David Owen, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, David. They also say you all come back, David. <laughs> For our next, our second and last award of uh, Professor Emeritus, Emeritus status, would uh, I'd like to ask Gabe Pereira and David Williams to come forward to the screen, to the stage. Gabe Pereira, ladies and gentlemen, Professor Emeritus. This is a, a great honor for me to be able to read this for Gabe. Uh, he is the literally the heart and soul of BCC in so many ways. For over four decades at Bristol Community College, your passion for history and commitment to students has informed every course you have taught. You have instilled the same joy in learning that you exemplified as the college's first valedictorian in 1968. As a mentor and innovative thinker, you continually encouraged improved teaching and learning through your development of intriguing and relevant coursework. You always demanded the best from your students and yourself. You succeeded in teaching them not only the history of the world around them, but also the application of this knowledge in an insightful and thought-provoking way. Because of your dedication to fostering intellectual growth, vision, and civic engagement, your students have engaged in opportunities to impact our society for generations to come. Dave, would you put that in? Professor Emeritus. I want to thank everyone uh, who's here this morning. I especially want to thank uh, the members of Division II and the History Department for their support. And I also want to commend everyone who works here at what Jack calls a great institution. I knew this when I was a student here, and I still believe that. Thank you so much, and have a good Mother's Day. Professor Emeritus Gabe Pereira. We're going to get a photo of the two of them. Uh, if you wanted to bring your cameras and uh, uh, take this for posterity. David Owen and Gabe Pereira. Recognized by their peers, it's a peer group, uh, the, the committee that meets and selects, and uh, it's quite an honor. Now I'd like to, while they're taking that picture, uh, Kathleen Burns uh, to come to the stage. Uh, she will present the honors awards uh, for our uh, 2017 recognition. Does she have a script? Or? You have your own? Hey, yeah. Okay. You're on okay. Good morning. I'm the chairperson of the 2017 College Awards Committee. The first award that we are presenting this morning is the Silver Shield Award. The Silver Shield is awarded to members of the college community who have made significant contributions to the community above and beyond the duties and responsibilities of their job description. This year's Silver Shield recipients are Autumn Alden. Yeah. Um, 
Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. The next recipient is Chad Akatsinger. Congratulations. The next recipient is Jason Chase. <laughs> The next recipient is Anne Marie Gomes. I think she's not coming, but I'm not sure. Oh no, there she is. She's one of the next ones. Want me to yell at her? No. Congratulations. Yeah. Next is Melissa Hammond. Congratulations. The next recipient is Veronica LaPlante. Congratulations. The next recipient, Aaron Reese. Okay, looks like Aaron's not here. Okay, the last recipient of the Silver Shields Awards is Patricia Shriver. Congratulations. I will now present our most prestigious award, the Septon Scroll. Membership into the Septon Scroll Society is given to members of the college community who consistently provide exceptional college-wide service and or leadership above and beyond the duties and responsibilities of their job description and over a period of years. Recipients are installed in perpetuity into the Septon Scroll Society. This year's recipients are Patricia Dent.
Congratulations, Pat. And the last recipient is Amy Martin. Congratulations, Amy. At this time, we ask that all past recipients of the SEPTA and Scroll Award to stand up and be recognized. Thank you and congratulations. Thanks, Kathleen. Well, thank you, Kathleen. And uh, we've come to the end. Uh, we're going to, uh, I'd like to ask uh, all the uh, current and past retirees to stand one more time to be recognized. All of our retirees this year and uh, in the past. Thank you for your years of service to BCC. Thank you. Okay. okay. Well, thank you, everyone. We had a wonderful morning. It's a it's a, a event like this that demonstrates uh, for all of us go vividly uh, the wonderful service that members of our BCC family provide to the college and especially to our students. And you see the years of service and the honorary uh, recognition uh, for great service done to uh, at the college and performed all for our, per, our noble mission that I always call it, and that is student success. So thank you everyone for coming. I appreciate it. It was a great undertaking. Can I say one thing yeah. to Karen? Karen Barrier would like all the New Bedford employees that received an award today to go to the back end of the cafeteria back there for a photo. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. You can stay and speak and talk and discuss among yourselves. Okay.